guys, it's Lane with Crafty Life Mom. I am back again today with a planner video. So it's been a while since I have done one of these, um, but I am sharing with you today my Erin Condren Life Planner and how I use it, how I plan mostly everything in my life. I'm going to show you the planner stickers that I use. A few years ago, I used to buy all the stickers. Like I bought from every single planner sticker out there on Etsy. I bought from Michaels. I bought from Joann's. I bought tons and tons of stickers. And I still have a pretty thick, full sticker collection. But I don't use them all. And so over the last few years, I've kind of gotten a little bit smarter. And I only buy now the stickers that I need for function. So my planner still looks cute and adorable. It's decorated enough to make me motivated to stick to my plans and my goals. Um, but it is using only stickers that I need that are very functional and I have learned how to actually make them go longer. So I'm going to be sharing with you today my planner, the layout, and the stickers that I use from some of my two favorite shops. I'm going to show you what I do to decorate and how I use those stickers um, for more than just one week. So like I can get a few weeks out of one sticker sheet. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what I do. Okay guys, so here is my planner. It's the Erin Condren Life Planner and I have the vertical layout. So once I get the planner open, if you happen to like my planner and you wanna get one, I will put a link down below on where you can find it. Um, I actually have the vertical layout. It's the first layout she came out with. I love the Erin Condren Planner. I It's the perfect size for me. It's smaller than a piece of notebook paper but bigger than like those little pocket ones and I just love it. Like most of the time, it's in my purse in a big tote bag or it's sitting in the front seat of my car or out on my desk like pretty much wherever I'm going for the day so I love it it has everything in here that I need there's several note pages in the back um, and what I like most about Erin Condren is she comes out with the new version or the next year um, most of the time like with the new planner covers in May now her covers are interchangeable so you don't have to change it if you don't want to but she has options that you can do that and you can also buy a 12 month calendar that goes January to December but her newer updates or her changes always come out in May and run June through May and I love that because I like to see kind of where I was at the end of the year rolling in with my goals into the new year, I have all my notes and everything still in the one planner. I don't have to change contacts or anything like that. So Erin Condren, the way she does it for me is the best uh, planner that I like using for all of my needs. So I'm just gonna show you how I do that. Um, and also, if you have like a craft business or you work um, a nine to five job and you have like a side hustle that you do, um, or if you're a stay at home mom or you do things like me, like where you have like YouTube or you do like a blog or crafting, this system, I have done it working like a nine to five job and being home with my kids and being working full part time in between. I have used this layout no matter what lifestyle I have been. So this has been my layout, my go to um, just before we get started. I just want to let you know that this is what has worked for me no matter what my life is bringing me, whether I'm working full time or I'm just a mom or I'm doing part time work or, you know, all the other things. So this workout works for me me and that's why I wanted to show it to you because I feel like if you're a mom and you're crafty and you got a lot of things going on then this layout is going to
Okay, so here's my weekly layout. I'm gonna show you how I decorate this and keep it functional with stickers. So my favorite, absolute favorite sticker to get is this sticker sheet from It's Planning Time. So this Etsy shop seller has all of these adorable sheets and they just come with the today, to do, and the little things stickers. Um, I am absolutely in love with these sheets. I buy several up at a time. She has a coupon. If you follow her on Instagram, I think there's a coupon you can get. So anyway, I bought a couple of these just to show you for the video that she does them for the seasons. Um, and I have these two right here that are kind of Valentine's-y and I will get two weeks out of one sticker sheet and the sticker sheets I think are around three dollars and fifty cents so that's not even what a dollar seventy five for one week and I know that's a lot like if you're just getting planning but if you're a planner sticker person you know that that is extremely uh, inexpensive that's very cheap for a weekly spread for a planner sticker sheet so what I'm gonna do is I'll show you how I actually um, set this sticker sheet up onto my planner over two weeks and then I'll cut the camera and I'll come right back. Okay, so here's the layout. I've put the date stickers that she has on the sheet here at the top and then I've used the three middle sections without words to do the top, middle, and bottom sections. Now I already know in my head that this is family to do and like blog related things or craft business or side hustle, whatever it is for you. Like I already know the breakdown of my three chunks of my day. So I don't have to necessarily have titles. But what I will show you is, so this one planner sheet, that's one week, that's all I've used. And I still have all of this for a whole nother week and then I have these little flags as well. So, um, what I can do is use these to mark like specific dates and times and then I take like stickers from my monthly layout that I showed you from the month here and I use these to mark like important dates in the first week or two of my month um, just to kind of use up these cute stickers. Now we do change the month here like from January to February but I use the same theme for the whole week and I might do something that kind of shows like hey I'm going into a new month. I'm pretty sure I have a sticker somewhere that says February so I might add that to the top here but for the most part this is my basic layout that I use to like decorate for the day or decorate for the week and then build on it with my list. Okay, so I just wanted to come back and show you really quick, now that I've stickered everything, what it actually looks like. So this was the monthly kit that I got from Lexi Kylie Designs, and it came with three sheets. The first sheet we use for the entire headers here. These are the two sheets that are left over with stickers, and as the days go, I will use these up. So I kind of tuck these in the back folder. She also gives me, um, or gives you know every order, these free um, little samplers. So I will use these to fill in also as the days go. Now back to the weekly layout. This was week one and using just this sticker sheet I did this week. And then I added these also from that leftover monthly kit. Okay, so that was the Lexi monthly kit. And then stickers are left over. And like I said, I will fill in. So I did that here. And then this sheet will go for this week and this week. So extremely affordable because it was like less than $4. Like I want to say $3.50 or $3.75 for this sticker sheet. And I got two weeks out of it with my basic layout. So two weeks into February, I'm already like pre-planned for. Then week three is Valentine's week. So I'm going to have this sticker sheet that I use for this week. And again, I will use some of these samplers to like deck out this day and put Valentine's, all that kind of goodness. And then here's week four of February, also using the same sticker sheet. So one sheet, two weeks, and you can't beat it for the price. So then I'm all done for February. Now I just have to fill the days with my lists, my to-dos, my goals, and all of my family things that I have going. I won't focus on March until you know, probably the beginning of February, but remember, I bought a few of these ahead of time, so I'm not buying stickers constantly, and I will tuck these away 
with the leftovers in the back pocket so that if I come up on March and I haven't quite put the stickers in, I have them all ready to do that. Yes, I do plan six to eight weeks of stickering like this, like pre-planning in advance. And that's just so that as the I approach the days, they're already filled, like ready for me to fill in. And they're pretty and they're decorative. And it kind of motivates me to keep going um, and lets me like see the upcoming holidays as well. So hopefully this motivates you to... Um, Maybe beef up your planner if you have a paper planner or if you're interested in Erin Condren, the link is going to be down below. And, um, you know, stick with your goals and plan for the new year. It is going to be a happy, fun, proud.